What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. Starting another director project with Billy Wilder this go round. And in today's video, I'll be reviewing his directing debut, 1934's Mauvais Grain, which is French for Bad Seed. Bad Seed was released in 1934. This was the directing debut of Billy Wilder, who went on to make prominent Hollywood productions during the golden age of Hollywood from the 1940s to 1960s, directing such beloved classics such as The Lost Weekend, Double Indemnity, Some Like It Hot, Sunset Boulevard, The Apartment, and many others. Billy Wilder was born in Austria, raised in Germany, and was Jewish, but during the 1930s, of course, Hitler rose to power and the Nazis. The Nazis weren't too kind to Jews, so Billy Wilder fled from the reign of Hitler. And by 1933, he moved to Paris, France, and that's where he made his first movie, Bad Seed, which was a French film. Billy Wilder was inexperienced at the time. He actually shared production credits with Alexander Sway, but reports have said that Billy Wilder did most of the directing himself. The movie had a very limited budget. The movie wasn't that big of a hit when it came out and was not a runaway smash, but it did give Billy Wilder confidence to go out and direct more movies. He eventually made the trip to Hollywood and after spending eight years learning the art of screenwriting, he returned to direct more movies in 1942 and had a prolific career up till his death. So, Bad Seed was the director's start. Is this movie any good? Let's find out together. A young Parisian playboy, cut off from his father's money, falls in with a gang of car thieves. Bad Seed is one of those movies where I feel like the production history and the making of the film is more interesting than the movie itself. I spent a lot of time talking about Billy Wilder's background, how he made his first movie, him being inexperienced, making a lot of this movie on the fly because of how limited it was, and what happened to him after the film. The reason why I did that is because there's not really that much to say about this movie. Honestly, making a review of this movie honestly feels like a waste of time. Because there's not really that much about this movie. Uh, I mean, the story, I guess, could add potential. It's a young playboy who gets cut off from his father's wealth and joins in with a gang of car thieves. I will say the movie is well filmed, even with the low budget. There are some great shots in this movie. There's a lot of stellar location shots in this movie which is different from a lot of the movies made in that era. Like, if this is a Hollywood production, everything would be on a soundstage. Because that's how they made movies back then. There wasn't much location shooting in the 1930s. But they did it in Bad Seed over in France, and there are some great shots in this film, and there's, a lot of, there's some cool car chases that are in this film, a lot of which were actually done practically. A lot of car stuff back then... They used a lot of camera trickery and green screens when it looked like people are driving in a car when it was actually them on a soundstage pretending to drive a car. They didn't do that with Bad Seed. There were actually shots where they put cameras inside cars and had cars chase each other. And there were some really exciting car chases in this movie whenever our main character stole cars and was being chased by the law and stuff like that. There was actually some really exciting car chases but aside from that I couldn't get invested into the story the main character I just didn't find interesting I thought he was a pretty shallow character very base level character and just the drama I just thought was on the petty side there's not much to this movie that engaged me the movie has some fun sequences yes but this is a movie where I couldn't connect with the characters I couldn't connect with the drama and there's a weird tonal imbalance too, like the movie has a lot of melodrama with our main character who lost his fortune and he gets caught up in the criminal lifestyle, but 
All the chase sequences are done in a more comedic, tongue-in-cheek fashion. I wish there was a better balance of what the movie was actually going for. And I thought that was a little frustrating. I will say, though, thankfully Billy Wilder managed to bounce back over this. Again, he did move to Hollywood, learned the art of screenwriting for eight years, and bounced back and made prominent films, which I'll be diving into next. This, I don't think, is the true Billy Wilder. This is just an amateur, just, you know, still learning how to make a movie. And so I guess in a way this movie feels incomplete to me. I think if we had a more experienced Billy Wilder making a movie like this, uh, whether in French or English, I think this would have been a better film if the Billy Wilder of the 1940s and 50s made a movie like this instead of a young and experienced Billy Wilder who wasn't as familiar with making movies back then and only got the job just so he can earn some income. This is definitely a movie where the behind the scenes stuff is more interesting than the actual movie because the actual movie itself is pretty boring and pretty forgettable, pretty basic. And it's a movie that I've already forgotten much of about even as I'm filming this video. This is a movie that's hard to get into. And it's not the language barrier. There's a lot of foreign movies that do interest me and intrigue me. Crouching Tiger, and Dragon, and Parasite are two great examples of that. But Bad Seed is definitely not one of those movies. Even though it has some exciting technical stuff and there's some fun chase sequences, the storytelling I thought was on the dull side. And at the end of the day, this is a slog from Billy Wilder. But I know this is not the true Billy Wilder, and I'm excited to see the great Billy Wilder with a lot of the movies that I'm excited to check out for the first time. As for Bad Seed, I'm going to give the film a 2 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 36 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of The Bad Seed, kicking off my director project on Billy Wilder where I'll be reviewing his complete filmography from his directing debut all the way to his final film that he released in 1981. I'm excited to dive into these movies, six of which I have seen before, some of his most iconic films, but there's plenty of films in his filmography that I've never seen before, and I'm excited to check him out for the first time. If you're a fan of Billy Wilder, don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Billy Wilder reviews in this series. And join me next time in this project where I'll be taking a look at Billy Wilder's 1942 release, The Major and the Minor. I'm definitely excited to check this one out. I know it's more of a comedy from what I understand. I'm excited to check it out for the first time. So be on the lookout for my review of the major and the minor coming to my channel very, very soon. But if you've seen Bad Seed, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I'll also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!